Hey, what's going on guys? Badash4 here, and I'm bringing you another Destiny video today. And today, I'm gonna uh, continue the story from... What you do when you have the... The Skyburner's Command Beacon. You know, you gotta bring that thing over here into the Dreadnought ship from the spawn. And once you activate it, it's gonna summon some Cabals. And you gotta defeat them. And when you kill their champion, he's gonna drop you, um some deployment codes um, I believe it's called Skyburner just Skyburner's deployment codes let me check that real quick yep right here Skyburner's deployment codes and what you're gonna want to do with those is you're gonna take them over to the mausoleum I don't know if you guys know about it yet but um, there's just like a it's secret chest area type deal and it's not too secret I'm pretty sure everybody knows about it by now let's head over to the mausoleum I hope I'm going the right way I don't have the dreadnought just like memorized down pat yet uh, hall of souls alright yeah I took a wrong turn cause that's court of oryx right there So yeah, I'm, I'm going to lead by example, and it's a good way to not go if you're trying to get to the mausoleum. Um, mausoleum, I'm pretty sure, is down, just straight down the right side. So let's go down that way. Let's find out. Trial and error, right? Right? No. I wish you could summon your sparrows on Dreadnought, but it's kind of a good thing they did, because it is kind of, it's big yet it's small. It has a lot of different areas to run th through, and yet yeah, they're honestly not that big. This takes a little while, and yeah, we're at the mausoleum, and what you're going to do is go right here, come right over here. You don't have to worry about the enemies, and just jump on this stuff right here that's sticking out. I don't know why I'm not jumping high at all. Oh yeah, I changed my class, that's why. And basically just jump into this ship right here. If you, as you can see, there's some loot around here, and then deployment codes. You're going to activate that. And and after that, you're going to get this series of little missions, you know, kill enemies. So let's do that real quick. Shouldn't be too difficult. It might be difficult. I don't know. Alright, so it's kill all enemies. So not just Cabal and kill everything. Come on now. That moment when I actually need enemies, none of them are around. What is this, Destiny? Bungie, what did you do? Let's take all these enemies out. What I'm using right now is a Zello Supercell, by the way, if anybody has a question about it. Alright, so I need enemies to spawn. There's none spawning. This is just wonderful. <sighs> there, there's always a lot of enemies around here. Like, what's what's going on in here? Where's the fire at? No, don't you take my kill! You stupid random. You're not stupid. You're just, you're just young, and you don't know what's going on. You don't know what you're doing. Literally, got to kill like three more enemies, and I'll be done with this. Come, what, what is life? Thank Jesus. I'm gonna go two shot him. Oh crap! I forgot I was in golden gun. Well, I just dropped him. So and if, clearer, just not clear enough. Keep if you're Phase two, run over here, 
data sent. I have no clue what to do on it, actually. Tower's having trouble decoding. Head to the LZ in the breach and transmit it from there. Alright, so basically run back to the breach. It's not too hard. If you have a question as to why I only got one shot out of my golden gun, it's because I have the Celestial Nighthawk on, which is an exotic helmet. And it gives you it only gives you one shot with golden gun, but it's damage times six. And it gives keyhole for over penetration. So it's pretty powerful when you're fighting majors and ultras. Or you just have a long line of enemies that you want to take out. I shouldn't be going after Worm Swore when I'm on a timer, should I? No. It's a bad idea. And... I'm here. I'm here. Oh, it's got a, it's sending right now. So let's let this send. Nice work clearing up that signal. I've got a read on a Cabal crack squad mixing it up with the Taken. Pinpoint their location before the Cabal go dark. Alright, so i got to take out some sort of leader. That's fine with me. Shouldn't be too hard. So I'm just going to take a wild guess and say we run back to the mausoleum. Oh, so basically we got to kill him before the Taken does, is that all? Uh, keep in mind, this is the first time I've done this, and I just figured out how to do it the other day. And this is, I've just now got around to actually doing it. And I can't make a jump, even though I'm a guardian of the galaxy. Makes a lot of sense. Alright, so... I uh, keep running, I guess. I hope. Got a minute and 40 seconds left. I feel like I'm running really slow. Or is that just because I'm on a timer? Alright, I'm just going to take a wild guess and say jump down here. Sprint, please. Pretty please, with sugar on top. Oh, so there's a war going on out here that I have to come interrupt, and I gotta find the... I gotta find the, uh, the leader. Alright, the leader's over here. Because it just showed up on my screen. Let me try to do this real quick without falling. So, where's the leader? Okay, let me take out this Colossus real quick. Alright, so where's our leader? Let me take him out real quick. Imperial Centurion. Hey, pal. Skyburner Security Pass. That's what you want to get, guys. That's how you know you've done it right. A Warden's Knight. I'm probably going to die right here, but it's okay if I do, actually. Because I've already completed the thing and I'm shadow touched. So let me see if I can actually do this right. Get out of here without dying. I'm kind of hoping I can. Yeah, I did. All right, now I'm going to show you where to go to get that, uh, to use that last thing. There's three steps to it after you get the, the, um, Skyburner security pass code. And then you get those deployment codes. And then you get what I got. Which is the, I forget the name of it every time. Skyburner security pass. Once you have that, all you want to do is run back to the mausoleum. Let's get that done. Alright, we're nearly there. Once you're back to the mausoleum, all you're going to do is you're going to run back to that spot where you jump into the ship again. And... Let me do that real quick. Alright, I hate triple jump now that I've been using the higher double jump. Get up here, 
just go get back into the ship and basically all you do is come up to this door insert skyburn security pass and it opens the door and boom chest insert skyburner security pass again and you should get somewhat like I've got I've seen people get legendary ingrams from it also but yeah guys that's how you do it uh, please leave a like rating on the video you know help me get to let's say three likes on this video and uh, I'll talk to you guys later